Today on the net, the Thai blogosphere testifies to the political crisis which has hit the country. British web users express their anger over the digital economy bill. And a video imagining what Lady Gaga would be like if she wasn't famous. The crisis continues in Thailand, but after a weekend of violence, calm returned to Bangkok on Monday. The red shirts paraded symbolically in the streets of the capital with coffins covered with the national flag and carrying the bodies of two civilians killed on Saturday. Several videos filmed in the city on this day of mourning have been posted on YouTube. This one shows where one person was killed on Saturday. This Thai man pays tribute to the dead. And web users are keen to give accounts of Saturday night's violent clashes, which left 21 people dead and over 860 injured. Tony Joe from the site Thai FAQ has posted these images online, filmed that night. Here we see the start of the demonstration. There's music and all is calm. This is before things degenerated. To film this video, Tony had to put on a mask to protect him from the tear gas. He also filmed the bullets found on the ground. This tourist has posted a photo of his wounded arm online, as well as other images of the clashes. And whilst the debate over who was responsible is mounting, both on the side of the protesters and on the side of the security forces, this blogger notes that the cause of the red shirts has been consecrated in blood. He says the movement, which now has martyrs, could gain larger popular support. Part of the British web-using population is not happy. The reason? Last week, the country's MPs adopted the Digital Economy Bill, a law aimed notably at punishing web users for illegal downloading, as well as blocking access to certain websites. Several British video bloggers are expressing their unhappiness on sharing sites. Messages saying the law is a potential liberty killer and criticizing the MP's attitude. British web users feel their MPs have not sufficiently taken their opinions into consideration. Others have managed to keep their sense of humor and prefer to put their disapproval to music. These pieces often target Peter Mandelson, Labour's Secretary of State, who was at the origin of this project. I've been following your recent policy proposals, so now they've gone through what thought I'd contribute some vocals. The focal point of my criticisms, the ridiculous decision to bring in a system where you flick a switch and disconnect the internet when it's suspected the intellectual infringement has been detected. Detractors of the bill have demonstrated their opposition. As these images show, several gatherings have been organised over the past few weeks, notably in London to persuade MPs to vote against the bill. Meanwhile, some are not giving up easily. The organization Open Rights Group is broadcasting this message online, and on its website it's calling for citizens to take action during the general election due to take place on the 6th of May by asking the MPs to justify their vote. A website has even been set up where you can see how the British MPs voted. Calling Orgy Kets. This site offers accessories for women who like 2.0 style fashions. There's a handbag made with a recycled computer keyboard and its matching purse. And also a pouch carrying the image of a web star, the wide-eyed squirrel. Fashion lovers will be catered for. Three months after the terrible earthquake that struck Haiti, the German daily, Spiegel, has posted this interactive document online, which gives you an idea of the extent of the damage in the country. With these satellite photos taken before and after the earthquake, web users can see what remains of the 12 buildings in the capital, Port-au-Prince. It's a particularly impressive animation. The American singer Lady Gaga is known for her extravagant look. The creators of this satirical video have asked themselves what her life would be like if she hadn't been a music star. They have imagined her taking the bus, in the street and also at work wearing her stage costumes. A video clip that should bring a smile to your face. And, uh, do you have any Diet Coke? Thanks.